Hello, welcome to Kelp Algae, the best coding channel on YouTube. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's my sister. I told you she was annoying. Anyway, in this video, we're going to be talking about fractals. And in case you don't know what a fractal is, um, it's okay, because I'm going to explain what a fractal is. Now, I already made a video about some of the stuff that we're going to be using in this video. So if you don't understand it, watch that video. Alright, so, let's get to it. Alright, so what I've got set up here is, um... I've got this Python script, and it's called fractalmaker.py. I have it right here. And what it does is it opens up this square.jpg, which is the same picture that we used in the previous video, and it converts it to an array. Com doesn't do anything with it yet, but it's going to, because that's what we're going to program. And then it's going to save it as this fractal.jpg, which is the exact same as the square.jpg, because it's not doing anything yet. But eventually, it will do something. So, so what a fractal is, is... You have this image, and then, with the image, you do a transformation on it. And you take that image and do the same transformation over again. And you do that over and over and over and over again, an infinite amount of times, and whatever image you have left is, is a fractal. And that's the simplest explanation I can think of what a fractal is. So, now the fractal, obviously we can't do an infinite number of transformations on it. But, but we can do enough transformations that the detail is so small that it look, would look the same if we did an infinite amount. So first we have to define the starter image. So we have the square.jpg, and we have to make sure that it's completely white. So mine is already completely white, but I'm, this is how you do it if you have a 730 by 730 image that isn't completely white. So 4x in range... 730, which is the width of the image. And um, it has to be a 730 by 730 image to do this particular fractal, but you can modify this code and you can use different ones, but in this situation, you need 730 by 730. And then for y in range 730, which is the height of the image, and then npm x y is equal to 255, 255, 255. Anyway, so now this is going to iterate over every pixel in the image and make it white. And that's how we're going to make a completely white image. So that way we have a completely blank slate. So if I save it and run it, And if I open up fractal.jpg, it's a completely white image. So, now, the, the fractal that we're going to make, I don't know what it's called, but we're going to put a dot in the bottom right corner of the image, which is just one pixel, and we're going to make it black. And then out of those pi out of pixels, we're going to make a donut shape, a very simple 3x3 three three donut shape. And then with those donut shapes, we're going to make another donut shape. And with that donut shape, we're going to make another donut shape made out of those donut shapes. And it's going to compete, repeating, and make bigger and bigger donut shapes made out of donut shapes made out of donut shapes. And eventually we'll be left with this giant donut made out of donuts made out of donuts made out of donuts. It's a donut lover's dream. Anyway, so, first of all, we have to start with a pixel in the bottom right corner. So, npm729 729 is equal to black, or zero, zero, zero. And this is going to make the bottom right corner black. But you might be wondering why it's 729 and not 730, because this has 730 pixels. But with Python, the arrays start at zero, and then go to, then go to one minus the length. So this is 729 even though the, it's actually an array with 730 objects in it. And the index is 729, even though it's the 730th um, item in the list. So that's, we're going to make a black pixel in the bottom right corner. Now if I save that and run that, and wait for it to load, okay, it's done. And you can't see it, but I can see a tiny little black pixel back there. I don't know if you can't can see it or not, but I can see it, so that means it's successful. 
So now that there's a black pixel in the corner, now we need to make this black pixel into a donut shape. So we're going to iterate over every single, every single pixel and find the ones that are black. Right now, there's only one, so it's easy, but as it goes on, there's going to be more and more, so we're just going to iterate over every single one. So 4, x in range, 730. So this is the same loop as we had before. And 4, y in range, 730. And then, now we need to check if this particular pixel is black. So np, no. If npm is equal no npm x y those are the coordinates is equal to zero 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 then we do the transformation but for some reason this doesn't work i'm not entirely sure why but you can't come you can't you can't compare a numpy array to a regular array for some reason so what you actually have to do is just compare the first element of each array this wouldn't work if, so I'm just gonna, if the first element is zero, I'm going to assume that the whole thing is zero, zero, zero. This wouldn't work in most cases, but in this case, it's either a zero, 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 or two, five, five, two, five, five, two, five, five. So if it's the first one is zero, we know the rest of it is zero. This wouldn't work in most cases, but it does work in this case, so I'm gonna use it. Anyway, now we need to make a donut shape around this one pixel. So npm x minus x minus 1 and y is equal to 0 0 0 now what this does is it makes a black pixel one pixel to the left of whatever pixel we're looking at right now and then we need to make one right above it so x and y minus 1 now you would think if it's minus 1 you would think if it was minus 1 then it would be below, but because it actually orders them from top to bottom instead of bottom to top, minus one means above, and I don't know why that's true. Anyway, so now we need one that's two to the left, so x minus two, not two, one, two, x minus two, and just the same y coordinate is equal to zero, 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 and then n, p, m, x and then y minus 2 so this is two pixels above and this is going to be black as well so um zero 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 <clears throat> now we need to take the one that's two above and one to the left so npm x minus one which is one to the left and then y minus two so that's one up one i mean two up two one eh, two up one to the left and that's going to be black as well. And then we want the one that's two to the left and one up. So np in x minus two, and then one up, which is y minus one. All right. Now we need the one that's in the very top left corner of the donut. So np in two to the left. So x minus two. And then 2 up, which is y minus 2, <clears throat> is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0. So what this does is it's going to take this pixel that's in the bottom left corner and make a donut around it. Well, not a donut around it. It's going to be the bottom left co corner of a donut, which is made of a total of 8, a total of 8 pixels. So we define 7 pixels. The 8th pixel is already there because we defined it up there. Anyway, so if I file save and then run, we should end up with a donut in the corner of the screen. It's going to take a while because I have to define all of these. All right, so now that that's done, we look at fractal. And it's still, maybe I can zoom in on it. Um, really hard to zoom in on. But you might be able to see it down there, down right there. But yeah, there's a square donut down there. So you probably can't see that, but once it starts getting bigger, you'll actually be able to see it. If you're doing this on your own computer, you'll be able to see it because I can see it. So there's a square donut in the corner. 
But now we need to make a donut out of these donuts. So here's how it's going to work. And we're going to make a loop, another loop that's around this whole loop. So here, 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 here. All right. For I in range, however many times you want to do it. I'm just going to do it three times for now, just so it's visible. But we're going to do it an, an amount of times so it takes up the entire image. Because if it goes over the image, it freaks out because it, it's out of bounds. But we're just going to do it here. So now we can't just repeat this over and over again because it's just going to be a bunch of donuts stacked on top of each other. And it's going to become a mess. So we need to make a donut. But then when you define these new pixels, they need to be farther away. So every time we create a new donut, it's going to become three times larger. So instead of one to the left, it's going to be three to the left. So this is what we're going to do. Instead of minus one, it's minus one times three to the power of i. So the first time this goes around, it's i is going to be zero because it starts at zero and it's going to be one times one, which is one. So it's just going to act normally. But the second time around, it's, i is going to be equal to one. So it's going to be one times three, which is three. So this time it's going to go around again. So for every one, make it one times three to the power of i. So I'm going to copy that and just paste it. So here's one. Now it's one times three to the power of i. That's a two, so we're not going to do that yet. But it's very similar. And for every one, paste in one times three to the power of i. Now for twos, it's exactly the same, except it's two times three to the power of i. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in wherever there's a two. So here's a two here. All right, so I think I've pasted in a, oh yeah, there's one more right here. And that's all of them. So here's, um, so now instead of just putting them around in a donut, it's going to make the donut three times bigger every single time, which should be happening. So now it should actually work. So file, save, run, and run module. Uh, invalid. Okay, yeah, I I have to put a colon there. Yeah, always remember to put the colon there. I'm used to using C sharp or C plus plus or Java, and in, instead of putting a colon, you put all the code in brackets. And Python is weird like that, but um, we use colons here in Python. <clears throat> and it's gonna take a little longer because it has to iterate over it three times. I'm just gonna wait till we see these little arrow things, and that means it's done. All right, it's done. And now, if we look in the corner. There's this fractal thing here, and it's going to get a lot bigger. Now, if you recognize this, this is actually what my icon is currently, but it's going to get a lot bigger. So now, just to make, since this is going to start taking a while, the more um, iterations there are, we're going to like put a debug log here. So print iteration plus i. <clears throat> well, actually, um, since it's an integer, string i. Oh, no. Yeah. String i. So that's going to convert this integer number, which is counting how many iterations we've gone through, turn it into a string. It's going to say iteration 1, iteration 2. Well, iteration 0, iteration 1, iteration 2. And this time we're going to do it five times. So file, save, run, run module. So instead of... So now that we do it five, two more times than we usually would, it's going to be nine times bigger. So anyway, so here's iteration 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's done, because 4 is actually 5, which doesn't make any sense, but just don't worry about it. And there it is. See, now it's a lot bigger. Um, it's a lot bigger now, but it's not taking up the whole image, so I think we can do it one more iteration before it um, actually starts overlapping. I think six is the maximum. So now it's going to be three times bigger, and this might be the largest that you can actually do it. <clears throat> Zero. One. It gets slower every iteration because it has to set at more values every single time and do more math. And yeah, it's done. Oh yeah, here we go. Now, this is taking up the entire image, 
and it's a really cool looking fractal and it looks epic. Anyway, so that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make more fractals, just like this one. It's going to, and if you zoom in on this, it actually looks really cool if you zoom in on it. And yeah, just look at this epic. Anyway, see you in the next video. Goodbye.